back to the gym and train hard and collect the mistake. Uh, you have done a good job for you to win the fight, but I want to see the top five next time. The boss of Esther, the legendary Piri. Actually, she wanted me. She wanted me. You better help them. She wanted me. I will sleep on the mountain. She wants to fight with me. I, I, I don't know. I'll fight. I'll go miles. Many thanks, uh, Esther Piri, and uh, we really value and appreciate your thoughts and insights, especially regarding women's boxing. Much appreciated. For me, I can say I'm happy. I've finished my complaints. The people used to talk bad about me. You can see the boxing now is going on. The female boxing is still on. At this time, Thank you very much. I'm happy for the girls you have fought and you have won, you have taken the day and continue being this. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Esther, uh, for your TV thoughts and insights. And much, much appreciated sports, and much valued uh, in this regard. We We're going to pause uh, and allow Exodus our ring announcer just to tell us the next Zambia boxing bout, the 10th of the 11 boxing bouts we expect. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight. this will be. This will be an exciting four rounds by three minutes. Four rounds by three minutes.
and gentlemen, weighing in at 107 kgs, please put your hands together for Oriental Quarries on Box. Ladies and gentlemen, Ahmed Sadi. Non-title fight between Ahmed Saad and, of course, uh, Anos Tefuma of Exodus Stables. Quickly looking at uh, the two boxers ahead of this particular bout. Ahmed Saad yesterday at the weigh-in, weighing in on 107.6 kilograms in this uh, particular fight, and of course, Anos Tefuma weighing in on 92 kilograms. The officials in this particular bout, referee Maybin Kante, judge number one Sandra Piri. Judge number two, Mabel Mulenga. Judge number three, John Shipanuka. And of course, the timekeeper, Frank Montali. And of course, ring daughters, Colonel Preston, Patson rather, Banda. And of course, Benson Zulu. And the commissioner, Colonel Francis Galufa Mwanza. What, what people out there should be interested to know is that Ahmed coming into boxing is another sport. Ahmed was a rugby player and he played for the Zambian national rugby team. Ahmed was a rugby player and he played for the Zambian national rugby team. So he's coming in here not only as a boxer but as a sportsman. So yeah, Ahmed making his um, debut in as far as boxing is concerned and an illustrious career as you've rightly pointed out Ben uh, with uh, him playing in different sporting disciplines most notably um, rugby. Um, Obviously, an unorthodox, unconventional style of boxing that we are seeing from Ahmed. And uh, 
you think that um, it's uh, it can be a sort of tactic that can bring victory in this particular you know fight before I bring in you know Catherine Pugh your thoughts on his conventional style unconventional style let me put it that way well obviously um, I can see that Ahmed is uh, keeping Anus uh, uh, at bay with his jab he's keeping him at bay with his jab he's not using his right hand for obvious obviously he knows what he's trying to do but this this looks like a, a Charles Manucci tactic it looks like a Charles Manucci tactic <laughs> because uh, Charles has been polishing him up so this looks very much like Charles all right let me bring in Catherine once again um, your boss making his debut you have a lot of confidence that he's gonna carry the day and win this particular bout what gives you that confidence uh, because I've seen him train and uh, he's always like like that like that flexible uh, his, his guard is always off guard but um, and he's always off guard but he's steady whenever he's um, or he's always looking at the opponent, what's the next move? As you can see, the way he's um, uh, ducking the punches and he's seeing the opponent. Yeah. Okay, so you're watching the 10th of 11 bouts that you are scheduled to see as uh, Anos Tefuma on the front foot there trying to score a couple of points. It is um, a heavyweight non title fight. Of course, the two boxers squaring off in the ring trying to outdo one another the jab seems uh, to be a familiar tactic for both boxers then from the evidence of what we've seen in the first round so far yes indeed both boxers are trying to use the jab uh, Ahmed has got the weight advantage and um, obviously he knows that once he throws a punch and it lands it has the effect Anas of course trying to use his jab as well but barely to keep Ahmed away. So that's uh, basically what transpired uh, in the first round as you are seeing the highlights of the first three minutes of this particular bout. Ahmed there scoring with that jab twice using his uh, advantage in terms of weight to ensure that um, once those punches as Ben has quite rightly pointed out when they land they have a lasting impact on his opponent. What should we expect in this second round considering the tactics that have been employed in the first round? Ben? It's going to be a very uh, edgy fight. Obviously Ahmed being tactful with the way he's approaching, very cautious. He doesn't want to go into the aggressive uh, mode yet because he knows that the fight is not going to be won in the first two rounds or the first round at all. He's going to take his time where he's opening down because he's much heavier and every punch that lands he breaks his opening down so he's going to go in with the jabs with the jabs if he feels that the opening now has tired and is weakened then he'll go in with the combinations he's, he's saving those combinations for an opportune time so those are the thoughts of Ben Saidi there giving us expert analysis alongside your know, Catherine Peavy here witnessing the debut of Ahmed Saad in this particular heavyweight boxing bout. Seems the two boxers, yes, once again, as we witnessed in the first round, the jab seemingly a very important tactic and weapon that they're using at their disposal. The referee calls the two boxers together, gives a few advice uh, before allowing the boxers to continue to slug it out in the ring. Catherine, if you were a judge, would you have Amos in front or would you have Ahmad in front in terms of your scorecard? Uh, so far, um, if I was given that opportunity to judge the fight, looking at uh, the fight so far, um, Ahmad Saad is uh, using the, the jab and he's calling a lot. So, so far, so good. Ahmad Saad is, um, is dominating. Yeah. So, yeah, the man from Exodus who is trying to work the body of Ahmed Saad there, boasting of a record of eight fights, of which five of them are victorious. Two of them are losses and a draw. So, man who considerably has more experience than Ahmed going into this particular fight because Ahmed making his debut. That's just background information for you, our viewers out there. 
Remember that this particular bout, as well as the entire boxing tournament, being broadcasted live on Crown Television, as well as ZNBC TV3, and of course on Facebook, streaming it live on Mwebantu, as the two boxers once again slug it out. Anos taking it to his opponent, backing him into the corner, trying to ensure that he's got nowhere to run. Catherine, are you comfortable with your boss's position in that position in the, in the I'm corner? I'm not comfortable with <laughs> him being um, at the corner because um, he looks like he's under pressure in the corner. So he, he has to move away from that corner. So, Anos Kefuma there landing one or two important punches. Ben Saidi. Uh, yes, seems indeed. like now it looks like it's a ploy for Anos just trying to yeah. push Ahmad into the corner and keep him there. Yes, of course, Anos is getting back into the fight. He's um, uh, judged how he can counter his opponent. He's coming back much more strongly than he started. And um, he's, getting, he's getting the shots in. He knows the weaknesses of his opponent and he has judged him well. So it's a good fight so far because Ahmed started strongly, but of course, Anos is coming back much stronger now. So that's the end of round two. This bout scheduled for four rounds, so we are halfway through in as far as this heavyweight national non-title fight between Ahmed Saad of Oriental Queries and of course Anos Tefuma of Exodus Stables. As we are watching what transpired in round two, Catherine, what would your advice be to Ahmed if you were his coach going into round three? If I was his coach, I would um, advise Amadi to avoid uh, the corner because uh, right now the opponent um, has uh, started him. So he's no, he knows now his weakness. So he's trying um, as much as possible to put him in the corner because he knows that if Ahmad is in the corner, he's able to land um, the punch on him. It seems like both boxers are gasping for air, gasping for oxygen. Yes. This probably been the longest six minutes of their lives so far the three individual round minutes for each round but yeah we're just halfway through it so they still have six more minutes and two rounds to contend with as the bell sounds to signal the start of round three in this heavyweight na national non-title fight between Ahmed Saad of Oriental Boxing Queries Promotions and of course Exodus Anos Tefuma Isaac, interestingly enough, Anos took long to come out of the come out for the third round, yeah. which shows a sign of fatigue. If he had been in good condition, he should have come out quicker. But he took longer on the stool to come out for the third round, which is a good sign for Ahmed, because his opponent seems to have been more fatigued than expected. Indeed, a good observation, you know, Ben Saidi there. No wonder we get you because we know that you're one of the most knowledgeable brains and experts in as far as boxing is concerned. And that's why you're alongside me, Ben. <laughs> Good flattery for you. <laughs> but yeah, as we are witnessing uh, the defensive solidity of Ahmed and the attacking ingenuity of Anos Tefuma on display. But yeah, another important jab there just to break up that offensive play from Arnold Stembo from Ahmed there. Yeah. Seeing that characteristic jab once again with a left. That um, is uh, giving him some sort of breathing space in this third round. So far, the boxers have gone toe to toe. And on my scorecard, there's nothing really to choose between the two boxers, but hey, I'm just a commentator at the end of the day, huh? Uh, this this uh, this round is uh, it's a little bit tough because uh, both uh, boxers they are, um, they are using their jab and uh, you can't tell now even the ju judging it it's a bit uh, tricky right now but it's a, it's a good round this one. I'm happy. It seems like you know Ahmed maybe from commentary position might have listening to the advice of you know Catherine to stay away from the corner and um, that hasn't happened at least in this particular round. So good advice probably taken without knowing that you know you've been given this advice on national television so the two boxers once again at a very slow slow pace but slowly but surely 
you know, providing entertainment for this sizable crowd that has gathered here at the government complex. Yeah, I've, uh, we have noticed a, a difference in style. Ahmed has changed his tactic, is uh, allowing Anus to come forward, uh, come forward and throw punches at him while he guards, and then he just hits him on the counter. He's just trying to wear Anus down, let Anus expend as much energy as he can while he uses his weight advantage to just push him over, throw in those punches and looking for that big right hand and not yet coming. We're down to the last 10 seconds in round three or four in this heavyweight national non-title fight between Ahmed Saad of Oriental and of course Anos Tefuma of Exodus. And as I say that, the bell sounds to signal the end of round three. These two boxers are still standing toe to toe in as far as this heavyweight bout is concerned here at the government complex. And of course, quickly looking at what transpired in as far as highlights over the course of that three minutes in the third round. A couple of jabs that Ahmed managed to score in that exchange of punches between the two boxers. And of course, Anos Tefuma trying to work the body before landing one to the side of the head of Ahmed. Really, really interesting, intriguing by fight between these two boxers. The boxer from Oriental making his debut and of course up against the seasoned, more experienced boxer in Anos with eight fights to his credit. Looking for his 60th win in those eight fights, depending on how this one pans out. But the two boxers in your picture are Mitzat there. Visibly, you know, exhausted from those first three rounds. Mike Weaver Zulu trying the best to do hydrating ahead of round four as the bell sounds for the fourth and final round between these two heavyweights in the ring here at the government complex. The referee, Mabin Kante, calls the two boxers to give them final instructions ahead of the fourth and final round in as far as this heavyweight contest is concerned. Ben Saidi, your thoughts in terms of what we can expect now? It's do or die between these two you know, fighters in terms of them probably trying to look for that all-important knockout punch. Yes, indeed. The fourth and final round is going to be an explosive round because both boxers would want to take the advantage. They know this. They've only got three minutes. The three minutes could be very, very decisive. So in these three minutes, we're going to see a very aggressive approach from both boxers. And even Ahmed, who has been sparing his right hand, well, I hope he uses it now because this is the chance that he has. He doesn't have much time. He's got to use it. Anus, of course, wants to take the fight to Ahmed. Well, Catherine, I think encouraging start from your boss in the red trunks, trying to use all the energy reserves within his body to ensure that he gets the victory in this fight. Of course, because this, this is uh, the, 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 the last round, so he needs to use all the energy to make sure that um, he scores more points. So he needs to use both the jab and the right because um, that right has got too much power. So if he can use that right hand, I'm sure he's going to, to have an effect on the opponent. So action continuing here in the fourth and final round. We're down to the last one minute, 30 seconds in this heavyweight bout between these two heavyweight fighters. Anos Tefuma in the predominantly white trunks. And of course, Ahmed Saad in the predominantly red with the white stripes, slugging it out here at the government complex. And the two boxers exchanging punches. That was a wonderful right hook that did not connect from Ahmed. But the two boxers once again continue to exchange punches. We're down to less than a minute in this fourth and final round. The familiar tactic by Anos of pushing Ahmed into the corner is what we're seeing now on the screen. Probably trying to use all the reserves in as far as energy, but of course Ahmed has got the advantage in terms of the weight as witnessed yesterday and the official weigh-in at the Southern Sun Hotel here in the capital city. We're down to the last 30 seconds of this particular heavyweight fight between these two fighters. That hook that doesn't land 
from Ahmed misses its target. The two fighters visibly exhausted, down to the last 13 seconds of this particular fight. It's now about probably just seeing out and waiting for that particular bell. Last five seconds. The crowd going wild. And the bell signals the end to this particular fight. No knockout, and it means that it will go to the judges' scorecard to find the winner in this particular heavyweight fight. Your overall summary, Catherine, in terms of what you've seen over the four rounds and who you think has won and why. Well, uh, this one, <laughs> I think I'll leave it to the judge because uh, <laughs> the last two rounds, both boxers uh, did very well. So uh, I can't give judge myself. I'll leave it to the judges to, okay. the, yes, to do their, to give their final decision. Yeah. <laughs> my, fi my final analysis on the outcome of this bout uh, this is what we've been missing in Zambia at this weight category. We, we haven't had the heavyweights for a long, long, long time. So this is quite interesting. And whatever result comes out of this fight, I think let's uh, clap for the two boxers. They've done well. And we leave it to the judges to judge. May the best boxer win. This has been a very fair fight. So you're... What you're seeing on your screen are just highlight reels of what transpired during the course of this particular fight. Many thanks to, you know, Catherine Piri for sharing our thoughts. Before I let you go, Catherine, let me just, before the announcement comes in for, or let me just uh, ask you to stay with us for a moment or two uh, before we cross first to the ring announcer just to give us the official result. After four rounds of boxing, I think this really comes down to the scorecards. Um, kudos to Butcherman, Anos Tenfuma, he really put up a good show. And also a lot of credit goes out to Mr. Ahmed Sadi, who actually walked the walk and now is talking the talk. This is really good sportsmanship and may the best man win. As you are watching those scenes, um, Catherine, uh, your overall summary in terms of this particular fight, well-deserved victory for the boss? Well, uh, for me, my final analysis, I think um, it was a good fight and uh, congratulations to the boss. I think he dominated the, the, the first uh, two rounds. He, uses, he, he used his jab. Tenfuma was a bit uh, slow. He wasn't scoring. So I think that's where the judge maybe picked it from. But the, the last two rounds, I think it was equal, equal to both boxers. Yeah. That's my personal view. So yeah. Before I let you go, I can't allow you to leave without getting a thought on the all-female encounter between Lolita Muzea and, of course, Kathleen Muriata. Uh, at the end of it, Lolita emerging victorious. You predicted that she would win. Did you expect it to go the distance or were you disappointed she didn't get the knockout? No, 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 
boxing is not about uh, a knockout. Yeah. For me, uh, that's what I wanted to go a long distance because uh, that's where uh, we have seen who a boxer is. Yeah. So uh, for me, boxing is not just talking and talking out at the ring. Boxing is, is inside.